Hi, this is Gaddy Alcon with Selig Film News here with the team behind The Love Inside, actress Ashley Spillers, writer director Mark Smoot, director Andy Irvine, and of course, Byron Brown. <laughs> I was giving you the look, perfect. So, nice. you guys have had your late night screening. What was that like? What was the Dallas audience's reaction? I know you guys had friends, family. I mean, it must have been fun, exciting, a little kind of awkward, uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. well. <laughs> Only one uh, parent was present. <laughs> yeah. And it wasn't my parent. It wasn't my father, but it was. I felt the tension. I felt the awkwardness between the, the cast member and that said parent. Yeah. Because of the content of the movie, the, the sexual, sexy the sexual movie. nature of it. It is kind of sexy and fun, and pokes fun. It does also uh, put you in that awkward moment. Wait, tell well, us a bit about that. That awkward moment starring Zac Efron and uh, <laughs> Miles Teller. Good play. <laughs> you love that movie. Put you in that movie. <laughs> but looking at y'all's history writing, I know Andy, you've, you've touched on, on sexuality and relationships. Mark, you're, in your writing you've, you've done the same. Y'all have a fun view of, of relationships. Y'all poke fun each, at each other and there's, there's that dry sense that I don't think most romantic comedies or fun films of this type have. They usually are a little cliché. It doesn't seem like y'all are. It seems like it's honest and true. Well, thanks for saying that. And yeah, I think, I think humor is a great entry point, you know, to, 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 to start the conversation. And yeah, I mean, we definitely are interested in exploring intimacy and, and, and you know, uh, uh, in all of its various forms. You know, from the romantic uh, and passionate to the routine and awkward. And, you know, I think, you know, the, the crowd was great last night. You know, they, they, there's, you know, there's tension, but then that laughter and that humor really helps release that. And then, you know, hopefully that's an entry point, and then you can kind of reflect on some of the, uh, some of the issues that get brought up from that. Can you all talk about being... And that set in that little rural cabin, that that feeling being out there, what that was like. It was great. I I mean, I you know, we're all Texans. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. We are. And so uh, <laughs> I was just checking. No, but being out there and shooting in that house and um, it just created for a really, it created a really nice sense of. I don't know, like community, and we were like a family out there, and we became very close. And the nature of the film is a, is very intimate, so I think, you know, you all have to really trust one another and feel comfortable and feel like you can allow yourself to do some of these things in a safe environment. And it was, it very much was. They're good at that, creating that. Save the uh, scorpions. Uh, we yeah. were staying in a place that was infested with scorpions. <laughs> It wasn't infested. <laughs> there were some. I imagined it to be. No one got bit, though, right? No one had any Did emergency. Did get bit? No. no bites, no stings. I mean, it's Texas. There's a lot of yeah. there's snakes, too, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. Snake head. Snake head? Really? Oh. Well, and as, uh, there was a snake incident. Um, there was a snake right. threat. Yes. Yeah. Uh, there was a snake threat. <laughs> but it was handled, it was handled uh, peacefully. Yes. It what? was. Sorry, go. <laughs> go. No, go. I, was I just, mean, it was just. <laughs> Good. I was just going to say that it was funny, like, the, because, you know, I'm, I'm from Texas, Byron's from Texas, Betsy's from Texas, but the other cast members, like Zach and Kat mm -hmm. and Joey, it was just funny, like, their reaction to being out in that atmosphere. Like, Kat, for instance, was just like, what? Where are we? <laughs> you know? And so it was fun to... It's a very accurate impression. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was good. But, you know, for her, it was just like, it was just a totally different experience, I think, from like me or by, it was just what it was. But for Kat, it was like really something. Well, do you mind if I ask, because I mean, you, you've worked with Andy long before this, you've obviously worked with Mark now on, on a couple of projects, mm -hmm. the, dealing with sexuality, dealing with relationships, you're kind of the veteran on that set. <laughs> what was it like, kind of, I mean, did you help Zachary and those guys with just getting to know what you could expect from a shoot with Andy and Mark? Um, Which you ahead. certainly helped Betsy. Betsy, definitely. I think cause this was Betsy's first 
feature film. I think she'd done like a couple little shorts and things, but this was her first time like working in this capacity on a feature. So for her, definitely, I mean, she called me before she officially accepted the movie to like, she just wasn't sure she wanted to do it. And so she called me and she was just like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like a nice girl and I've never done anything like this. And they want me to play this part and I just am really hesitant. And she, you know, and we had a really long conversation. And I think, I mean, I don't know that I would, it would just be, I wouldn't do a movie like this with anybody else or anybody less capable than these guys. I mean, they're really, like I said earlier, like the comfort and the, and the, the wisdom they sort of bring to it is, is really, is really great. And it just allows you to feel comfortable in situations that are not <laughs> so comfortable. Um, so yeah, for Betsy, I could definitely, I think, offer something. But for the other guy, I mean, they're all veterans. They're all, they've been doing this for a long time and they're all on TV and they're fine. They don't need me. <laughs> You guys have multiple films. You guys, Ashley, you've got like three films that you're in. Uh -huh. um, what's it like taking over a festival and dominating it like that? <laughs> I go for it. I mean, well, first off, I mean, we're just we're really grateful to be here. You know, I mean, uh, uh, own it, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> you are dominating. <laughs> Um, so we come in with a lot of humility. <laughs> um, That's true. And it's, exactly, I mean, she knows us. So, you know, um, so yeah, I mean, it's just, it's been an awesome experience. It's been a lot of fun. This is a great festival. It's a, it feels very uh, close-knit and, uh, um, yeah, just getting to, to meet new people, new film, you know, uh, new filmmakers throughout the week. It's, uh, it's yeah, it's, just, it's been an awesome experience. What's it like having a bigger team at a festival and not, you know, a lot of people come with their films, usually one person, but mm -hmm. having the comfort of you guys all here, you guys can walk the red carpet together, you have that group element. Is that different than, you know, maybe doing it just one hand or one person at a time? I mean, are you enjoying it that much more? Yeah, yeah. especially. Yes, yeah, yeah. And then, I mean, you have somebody like Byron. You just, you just give him the rock and he just, you know... I'm supposed to talk about that, dude. <laughs> it's so much fun. It's so much, I, I mean, I brought it up yesterday when I got here. It was like, this is really special that we're all here together and that we've done this and we've, you know, worked on this movie and created something together. And now that we're here and it's premiering and it's just such a, you know, like it is really special and it's special to have, you know, this isn't even everybody, but it's a good, mm -hmm. solid group of us. and. I was, uh, yesterday in the elevator, I was thinking, like, I've gone to so many festivals where it's just, like, me and the director, or me, you know, a couple of us, maybe, but to have a group and to each, like, share, be able to share our own experiences on the project, and I don't know, it's just, yeah, it's really fun. Is it fun to, because now, I mean, you're, you're pushing towards L.A., you're pushing towards other projects, is it fun to have that jump back home and just kind of have a little fun time with these crazy guys, and for you guys... Having cast from, you know, like Zachary and, the, you know, I mean, that, that's a step up, it's a move up. What, what do y'all feel about that? Yeah. Oh, I love getting to come back for this stuff. And, you know, because I live in L.A. now. I've lived there two years. And, but Byron and I were talking about this last night. Like, I love the Texas community and I have so many friends and people that I've worked with so getting to come back to work on something or to you know pr promote a movie or whatever it is is just I look I, I like ask for it I'm like please bring me back because it is so special to me yeah and I mean you know uh, uh, for the love inside specifically you know we were really blessed to, to work with uh, every single member of this cast I mean it was it was our ideal cast you know, uh, it's a, so it was, um, you know, from the LA actors to, to the, the, Texas, the Texas actors, it was just, you know, everything fell into place and just, and fell into place relatively easily. And uh, it was, you know, uh, you know, we just feel very blessed to, 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 to have that experience to work with um, to each and every one of those guys. Hmm. Byron, you've, you've been a part of a lot of films that have come through Dallas. 
it's all the way back to like Cinema Six and yeah, yeah. some crazy times. What's uh, the wildest adventure you've had at the festival? Carrying the rock. Carrying the rock. <laughs> I was trying to make a, a crack cocaine joke. Yeah, I thought that was right. <laughs> I picked up. I, you keep, I thought you were going to I thought it was a basketball yeah. reference. Yeah, well, I knew it was, it was a basketball, but I tried to turn in like he's talking about That's serious. Right? Yeah. Uh, Drugs. <laughs> Craziest Ventures in Dallas, the Dallas Film Festival. Doesn't have to be festival, yeah. Or I'm, just in Dallas, period. Yeah, sure. I grew up in Fort Worth, so <laughs> my experiences with Dallas were going to Planet Hollywood or <laughs> going to the Galleria Mall. Uh, that was pretty much it. That was from my perspective growing up. And then I come now that I'm a full grown adult. Uh, <laughs> You know, I'll come back for work. I'll come back for film festivals. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Let's edit this part out. <laughs> I don't think we're editing any of that out. Right. Um, <laughs> let's ask Andy a question. He's hiding back there. Yeah, he needs to talk more. Yeah, I agree. He is sweating up a storm. <laughs> 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 Andy, what it, what's it like for you to, I mean, this is very much a, a chance to, you guys are taking a big step with, with mm -hmm. this feature. Mm -hmm. It's a big move for y'all, and it's a good move. Mm -hmm. um, what, you know, not what's next, but I guess, are y'all excited for what's coming next? Oh, yeah, I was thinking about that this morning. Uh, it's like, um, I think uh, we never, I think the scary thing about making your first movie is you just, like, uh, you know there's going to be this big change in you, um, and you just kind of don't know what that's going to be necessarily. At least that's the way I was thinking about it, or you know, in hindsight. And there's so many things in terms of how to tell a story, um, how certain turns in that story are going to affect the audience. All, all these things I never ever considered. Like you just work on instinct. You're like, am I interested in what's going to happen next? Am I going to have interest in what's going to happen next? But it's like a I feel from that experience, it's such a, it's so much more complicated that in a really great and challenging way. Mm -hmm. um, so <laughs> it's uh, that 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 to me, or thinking about it, is not just a matter of instinct. Though that's obviously a part of it. Being personal, sharing your sharing what's, uh, you know, a, whatever you're in crisis about at that time, whether the stakes are low or high. Um, but just understanding that there, or I feel that there is an ideal way in which to tell a story, and it's just not a matter of instinct. It's like more, there's a lot of lessons you can learn in making movies, and uh, the kind of stories you want to tell and how you want to tell them. It's, uh, it's such a huge opportunity after having made the first movie, looking back and being like, oh God, I have so many things I've learned and I'm so excited about applying you know, to, the next, to the next one. Well, I know we here at the festival are excited to, to see what's coming, and that stands for all of you guys, and, you know, especially Ashley getting out to L.A., we're excited. It's, I feel like we've yeah. grown through the film, so thank you guys for coming to Dallas, bringing the full yeah, team, and us. thank you. Yeah, firing for, for holding down The Rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. <And> crushing rocks. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>